the time has come. We got out of work early. We've booked our train ticket. We are going on a class 43 HST Scott Rail Intercity 7, whatever you want to call it. Let's get going. Cue the intro. everyone before we get on our train i just had to visit the bus station to ask a couple of questions so walked up to the bus station so i'm walking back down to edinburgh waverley station look at that bit of a sunset going on through the clouds a gorgeous sight we're now going to go down the multiple escalators back down to the station and then we'll catch our 43 to i'm going to butcher it lucas or lucha and then catch uh, another train to Kirkaldy, which is where I'm going to be ending up tonight for in a hotel. So yeah, let's uh, let's head over to Waverley and get on our train. So let's travel down on the escalators, pick up our tickets, and head to platform 17. So I've collected my tickets. There is a HST over here, which uh, I think might be quite an interesting one because this Inter 7 City is five carriages long. One, two, three, four, and five cars long. Why is there so many carriages for this HST? Because I think I'm on a four car, but that's platform 17. But this one is five cars. Very interesting. We're waiting for our HST to come in and then we can go and uh, enjoy the trip. And there's the 92. Ready for Caledonian Sleeper later tonight. Anyway, let's try and get, wait for our train to come, which will be coming in uh, just under half an hour. Sorry for the shaky cam, but it has arrived.
It's done quite a few tests. So I was taking photos when they were doing the emergency brake test, but lights are on. We're leaving in 17 minutes. Interesting with the uh, horn, where they've got those covers on there. Because they have that on the 170s as well. Maybe it's just a sound thing or a protection thing, water. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Comment. Why are they? Why have they got those caps on there or like fabric things on there? Let me know. So it looks like they've got new lifeguards on this loco. They're single bolt. Um, if you look at some of the older ones, they're double bolt. But this is a single bolt, which is a new thing that they've put on these Scott Rail ones. So that bolt there is usually two, uh, but there's only one bolt there for the lifeguard. Let's climb aboard the HST. So we're on board, we're in these gorgeous XGWR first class seats. So you can see the Incinti first class, but yeah, this bit used to have the uh, GWR on there. But it's nice they've put this in blue instead of the green. But we've got the curtain and we're gonna sit back and relax on this lovely train to Lucas. So just looking at the seat itself, we have this nice table here. Um, this one goes back because this is a priority seat, as you can see, so we got a bit more room, but look at that leg room. It's a nice bit of leg room. Got a plug here. We might have a look at this four one in a bit, um, if anyone sits there or not. But yeah, we've got a trolley lady on board, so we get a couple of snacks and things. I mean, first class. Please check your luggage does not block doors, vestibules, or aisles. If you have bags, put them in one of the dedicated luggage areas, or put lighter items in the rack above your seat. If you see any unattended luggage, please tell a member of staff. Thank you for your cooperation. If you see something that does not look right, speak to a member of staff It's now arriving at Haymarket. It's quite a slow trip from Waverley to Haymarket because there's a lot of tunnels and you just go quite slowly through there, but.
This is Haymarket. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. So the plugs here are sideways so they don't get stuck, which is good. And we've got the four seats there. And we've got a few two as well. The buffet car in there, but we do have a trolley going through, which is nice. There's no complimentary things because there is a drinks trolley. Uh, this train came from Haymarket Depot um, into here and then we saw that five car which uh, is usually for the busier Inverness routes the Inverness route which uh, the driver told me which is quite cool but yeah we'll just wait for that trolley to come through to get a cup of tea and a bit of shortbread biscuit I think do I get a cold drink as well don't know The next stop is Cooper. Well, that was a nice surprise. There was a charter service, couldn't figure out who it was, but it's the Midland Pullman, and I just caught it. I heard a rumbling, and I'm like, that's a HST coming towards us. And uh, it was, Midland Pullman. If you haven't watched that video, go and check it out on the channel. We did go on the Midland Pullman from Hull to um, Paynton and Torquay. So go and check that out. Um, and also the return journey and also the food because we were on the Pullman dining, so that was really exciting. Now to see the uh, depot. So we're going a comfortable 90 miles per hour on this train. Slowing down every now and again down to 75 and then back up to 90, but yeah. These are just so much better than the other trains. I love going on these HSTs. But I know they've been around for 50 odd years, but it's gonna get to a stage where they will be gone. And we'll only have them on the heritage lines and chartered services. It's upsetting to think about that, but unfortunately the newer, more uncomfortable, more prone to problems trains are coming along now. And Hitachi is at the forefront of that. Thanks guys.
so now we've got our cup of tea and our shortbread where's it made you know it does say it's scottish okay that's good uh, we've got a little cup for our tea bag of things we've got meadow churn milk um there's just one downside to this <laughs> it's technically of all the tea bags, Scott Rail, you give us Tetley. So the sun set about 20 minutes ago now. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, getting dark outside, which means the reflection of these lights just make it difficult to look out with the video, you know. I try, I'm looking out myself. I get to see a bit, but with the camera, it's a little bit different. But yeah, the tea's all right. It's okay, it's tetley, but I've not had my shortbread yet. Still got that to, to eat. Unfortunately, there's no Wi Fi connection. The Wi Fi is there. I thought, oh, it's complimentary. I'll try it. Nope, doesn't exist. Maybe we're just too, too in the middle of nowhere. But I've got 4G. Looks like we have arrived into Cooper. Uh, we are about five minutes late, but that's a good thing. Not for anyone else on this train, but for me, I get an extra five minutes on the HST. Our next stop is Lucas, which is annoying, but never mind. Uh, there was an LNER Azuma service that's going from Lucas to Kukuldi, but that arrives just before we get there, if we were going to time, but we're not, we're late. So I definitely didn't get that. Um, that was five pound 
for that single if I got the LNER service, but I'm getting the Scott Rail one, which is at 10 to five. And that was 11 pound, but never mind. At least I get to go on the HST. So what we'll do is as we leave, as we leave Cooper, we will look at the price for this HST service. So off we go, next stop, Lucas. Just looking at our ticket, £20.50 it was for first class. It was £17 something for standard, which means it was only three quid extra to go first class, which is a bit weird, because if I'd got a standard at 17 50 or whatever it was, I would have seen the ticket man on this train and he would have charged £15 to be in first class on here. 15 quid! Because that's it, at sea, you ask, it's 15 quid. I think it's 10 pound for the other services, but on HST, 15 quid. So for a three pound upgrade, I think that was uh, pretty decent. I wasn't gonna check, I was like, yeah, I'll do that. 70 quid, then I pay 15 quid, because I wanna go in first class. Ooh, let's check, three quid extra. So it's always worth checking, if you do go on uh, Scott Rail, that how much extra is it for first class, if you buy it at the time of purchase or if it's cheaper to do it on the train really depends on the day but yeah next stop lucas uh, that azuma is going to go past in a minute so i might catch it i don't know it might just go past and then woo, and then <laughs> it's been and gone uh, but that's actually the service that i'm going to be catching tomorrow down to london so you hopefully will see that service it is dark but Hopefully I'll uh, show that um, on the next video. But anyway, Lucas is our next stop. And then what we'll do is we'll get off the train, run to the front and watch this 43 leave. Heading to Aberdeen. If only we were going all the way there. Unfortunately not. Just because of price, it was quite expensive to get up to Aberdeen and back again. But we've been on here for just around an hour and I think that's plenty of time to witness this whilst we still can. So that does it everyone. We have been on a class 43 HST today. Done, ticked. Oh, it's amazing. We just need to wait 20 minutes till our 1651 to Edinburgh, where we'll be stopping at Kakaldi. That's where we're gonna be going next. So we just need to wait for that. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Check out both channels, Train Real World and Mega Sim with all your train driving, virtual game, news, things like that. 
when I uh, get a chance because I am all over the country at the moment doing installs. As you can see, I'm in Edinburgh, I'm in Kirkcaldy, I'm down in London next. I'm all over the place. But no, thank you so much, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.